Shalom, a God back with another video. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. That's his name, whose name is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignominy calls Jesus Christ. So called blacks, Native American Indians, and Hispanics, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the Hebrews of the Bible. We must repent and be converted through the laws of the Most High. Come back to God, come back to your heritage, come back to these laws. Um, today the lesson is gonna be wisdom is law, right? Our law that the Most High gave us is our wisdom, right? Um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Um, wisdom is the performance of the law and wisdom is crying out, so it's about time that we start to take heed to it, right? So without further ado, let's get into the Apocrypha, the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 19 and 20. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do, the, do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. Right? So the wisdom, wisdom, uh, fear of the Lord is wisdom, right? The beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom is the law. So the beginning of fear is the law, right? Fear the Lord and follow his commandments, right? Now let's turn to the book of Proverbs chapter 1. We're going to turn to the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Now let's turn to the book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. See that? Wisdom and the knowledge of the, uh, of the holy, those who follow the laws, is understanding. If you get wisdom, you'll get understanding, right? Now let's go back to Proverbs chapter 1 and read 20 and 21. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the cities. She uttereth her words saying. Right? So this is just to give a description on what wisdom is doing what the law is doing, right? Because it's a commandment to go teach, right? And what are we teaching? We're teaching the law. The law is to go teach the law, right? To teach our people our, our laws and to teach them to teach other people, right? It's a domino effect. So this is just to pinpoint what exactly wisdom is doing. So now let's go to Proverbs 8 and 1. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? So let's go back. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So now, Proverbs 8 and 1. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 3. She has sent forth her maidens. She crieth upon the highest places of the city. Right? Now let's go back. Let's go back to Proverbs 1. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words, saying, right? She has sent forth her maidens. She crieth upon the highest places of the city. Now we go back 
She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the cities, she uttereth her words, saying. So wisdom is in different sections of the city coming out. She's uttering her words. The words of wisdom are being, she's crying out. So they're being shouted out, right? Now let's get Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. So this is saying, how long, you simple ones, will you love being simple, right? This is what wisdom is saying when she's out there. All of you who are who are uh, fools, right? How long are you going like, to wanna be fools? How long has it been? Like you still don't want no knowledge? You don't want no understanding? You don't care for the Most High God? You don't care for His laws? You don't care that your people were enslaved, brutally raped, robbed, and murdered, and everything taken from them? We have a solution for that. You don't care? You don't care about that? So it says, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simpl simplicity? Right? There's another, um, I think in the, uh, is it the NLT? Um... No, it's not. There's another translation that says, How long, you stupid ones, will you love stupidity? Right? But all praises to the Most High. Let's just continue, right? This is what wisdom is doing. Wisdom is in the chief places of concourse in the city, and she's screaming out, and she's asking, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Right? Now let's go to Proverbs 8 and 5. O oh, you simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. This is wisdom. Still going, right? Wisdom is saying, you simple ones, try to gain some understanding. We're out here teaching, right? Now let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 4. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding... She saith to him. This is what wisdom is saying. Yo, you want to learn something? Come here. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk about this, right? Come this way. I want to give you this wisdom. Come over here, right? Now let's go back to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Come over here. I'm going to give you this wisdom. I'm going to pour out my words to you. Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 8 again in verse 6. Here, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. I'm going to speak of excellent things. I'm about to give you this good news, man. Come over here. I'm going to give you this good news, right? I got good news. Come get some of this good news, man. Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 9 verse 5. Come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Right? Wisdom is crying out in the city. Telling people to come here. I want to give you this food. Come eat. Come over here and gain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I want to give you these things. Come here. Now, I want to go back to the book of Proverbs chapter 1. And I'm going to read... A few of these verses to close out because it's a lot easier for you to understand in the uh, in the NLT so this is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22 and I'm gonna go down some wisdom shouts in the streets she cries out in the public square she calls the crowds along the main street to those gathered in front of the city gate how long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often. 
Oh, Salakia. I'm going to just leave it there, right? But now, I'm not closing out, actually. I'm going back into the KJV. Let's go back to Proverbs. Um, so basically, this is what's going on. Wisdom is crying out in the streets. Wisdom is calling in the lost sheep of Israel. Wisdom is calling in the people to give them this good information, this good fruit, this good knowledge, this good food, right? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, the good news. We're trying to call our people in to give them the good news. Now look at this. Um, they, they want no parts of it, right? So now it says, this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Before ye have set at nought all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of their own fruit of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil so wisdom is crying out right we're trying to we're trying to bring our people in we're trying to give them this this good news and edify our people and they refuse they refuse a lot and these are the things that are going to happen they're going to look for wisdom and wisdom is not going to be there because when we were there they didn't want us there you understand but now let's get that we're going to finish that up i'm gonna close out now i just want to read that again in the NLT. So this is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 until the end of the chapter. It says, I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anguish and distress overwhelm you, when they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me, for they hated knowledge and chose not the fear of the Lord. They rejected my advice. Mind you, for they hated knowledge and chose not the fear of the Lord, right? Proverbs 1 and 7 says the fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? Um, in the regular, in the KJV, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? And then we know that in the Apocrypha, it just said that wisdom is the performance of the law the fear of the lord is all wisdom and wisdom is the performance of the law wisdom is crying out right it's time it's time to take heed now no one's paying attention right it says they hated knowledge and chose not the fear of the lord so that means they hated knowledge and chose not wisdom they chose not the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. They're choosing not to, right? They're, they're, they're denying the Most High. Um, Salakia, I'm on Proverbs chapter 1, verse 29. I'm going to read that again. For they hated knowledge and chose not the fear of the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore 
they must eat the bitter fruit of the living of living their own way choking on their own schemes for simpletons turn away from me to death fools are destroyed by their own complacency but all who listen to me will live in peace untroubled by fear of harm so if you hearken to the most high god you're gonna live in peace and if you reject the most high god and you reject his knowledge you reject wisdom when she's crying out in these places in the city when you reject wisdom you reject god you reject his laws right so-called blacks native americans and hispanics we are the 12 tribes of israel we are the hebrews of the bible we must come back to our heritage our culture our laws and our god we must come back we must repent from our transgressions which are the sins we've committed breaking the law and we must get right with the most high god so that we can get up out of here but um, I hope during the duration of this video, somebody was edified, right? Wisdom is law, right? And if you reject wisdom, you reject law. Wisdom is law. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Follow the Most High's commandments. Last but not least, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. Bashem meaning coming in the name of and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Shalom and Mawafla Babal.